Hi, this is Hans from Redcatch. For the building you see here, we'd like to add some solar panels on the rooftop and on the facade too. Getting the right dimensions up there is quite uh, tricky and dangerous too. So we developed a workflow without the need of entering the roof. Our approach is more innovative. We're taking geotagged photos with centimeter accuracy, process them to a 3D model and create the cut drawings later on. So first thing we do is uh, we sample the smartphone RTK. Uh, it consists of a uh, GNSS device and a power bank handle. You can clamp your smartphone directly uh, into the handle, tighten the screw gently and power it up by uh, plugging in the USB connector. Go out there now, connect your smartphone to your entry provider via internet uh, and you will receive now centimeter accuracy positions on your smartphone. Take at least 15 images of the building. The images are automatically geotagged from the GNSS device. So every image contains coordinates at centimeter accuracy. Back in office, photogrammetry is our next step. We copy the photos from the smartphone to our computer and drag and drop them in Agisoft photogrammetry software. So the first processing step is aligning the images, means uh, the computer should uh, rearrange them in a three-dimensional way, respecting the coordinates from our smartphone RDK GNSS device. So you now you can see the, the first preview of the building and that's exactly what we need. So based on this 3D model we can determine any coordinates at any position on our object. I'm switching to a local coordinate system now to have a unit system in meters. And the future measurements I'd like to perform in one of my photos. So I open one of the photos and with the right mouse click I add some markers. As there is the 3D information behind, those markers also have a 3D coordinate. So you can add them on your point of interest. After this, the next step is measuring the distance between those points. Therefore I highlight or select two of them and switch to create a scale bar. And after creating a scale bar, the distance of this scale bar is displayed. So in this case, the roof is 11.11 .11 meters uh, wide and true length of the height is 7.8 meters. You can add those markers on the facade too. So for example, here on these on the window corners uh, and, and even on virtual edges. So I'm using uh, this constellation to measure the width of the windows and the distances between the building's corner and the windows. So based on these markers, I create some scale bars. You can reorganize them by renaming them too. So you can find those distances uh, easily and, and you can group them in the way you'd like to. If you'd like to add some new points of interest, um, simply create some additional markers, highlight them, create scale bars, rename them, and you get the results you, you expect. So finally, you will receive a list of coordinates and distances, uh, which you can use for your uh, further steps of planning your solar panel distribution on the roof and on the facade. So I transferred those coordinates into uh, AutoCAD, draw the existing true view of the roof, and place the solar panels from a template on the roof to see how they match and how many of them suit. Finally, I 
made a visualization. I'm not very good at it, but for a first impression, it looks pretty awesome. So what can we at Redcatch do for you? We can provide you with the necessary equipment, with the GNSS hardware and uh, Microsoft software. We train you on those things, and if you're in the field and struggling with something, uh, we definitely support you. Thanks for watching, and keep connected with us. Bye.